What's happening guys? Welcome back. So today I got a uh, package from Summer Racing. I got some of my fuel system. So we're gonna be doing my dual pumps in the OEM hangar for this Toyota Supra. Um, should be able to mount the tank today, maybe run some lines. Let's see how far I get. Um, sorry about the noise, the heater's running in the back, it's a little cold, I just got into the shop from work. So let me get you on a, a different different stand, maybe a head, a head mount, and I'll show you what it came in. Alright guys, so this is going to be the plan. These two are going to get mounted like this. I have to cut this bottom of the fuel hanger off a little bit and then that's how they're pretty much going to sit now i have to make some kind of a mounting apparatus to mount these two together i don't really want them sitting touching so let me figure this out and we're gonna go from there all right guys so this is how it's gonna get mounted. I ordered these kind of like D clamps, P clamps, whatever you want to call them, with a kind of like a rubber isolator for a fuel pump. So I cut that in half, came with two of these clamps, which is perfect. I cut that off, the bottom bracket off that the original fuel pump would mount to. I cut that off, drilled the hole. Now, what I did is to figure out the distance from there to there. So this is the top of the fuel pump carrier that sits on the tank itself. So I just took a tape measure, measured. It's right around 13 inches to the bottom of the fuel pump. So then I went to my gas tank, went to the bottom of where the little, kind of like a splash reservoir is. It's right around right around 13 and a half so that gives me about a half an inch of fuel on the bottom of the fuel pumps with the filters installed should give me just enough to have the filter sitting right on the bottom see that's right around 13 and 13 and a quarter more or less so it gives me a little bit of space a little bit of wiggle room like that, these uh, filters aren't suffocating, suffocating themselves, the pumps, and there's a good flow. So now, I gotta mount these right on here. This is going to go, it's gonna look a little, little funky, but it's gonna do the job. Everything will be nicely tightened up. Just like that. Oh, come on. All right, so now the way this is going to run is this hose is going to go straight onto here. This one's going to go straight onto here. Both of these pumps do have uh, check valves. So when one pump is running, it's not like it's going to be backing up and sending it through this pump. One pump is going to be constantly on with the car running. Second pump will turn on, uh, I'm guessing... 15 pounds of boost, more or less, the computer will trigger on on its own automatically. All right, so let me get this, let me get this sorted out, and I'll come back with you guys once I figure out what the hell I gotta do on here. All right, guys, I'll check it out. This was a little bit more of a pain in the ass than I thought, but so far, this is where we at. This is all tight. We got a dash eight. It's gonna go straight to the fuel rail. A dash six and a dash six. This 90, I'm gonna mount right over here. That's gonna come straight to this fuel pump. This is gonna go from here straight to this fuel pump. So I might rotate this a little bit more depending on where these filters, how these filters rotate inside of the actual tank itself. So I have some dash six braided line right here this is what i'm going to use this is pretty much perfect fit um it's going to put some hose clamps on here and this should be fine itself and these should go straight on here with a little bit of 
persistence it will go on all right so let me get back to you with these and hold on tight i guess so i got the first one pretty much mounted it was a little pain a little bit of a pain in the ass to get it onto the barb fitting these are push to lock fittings um for a little bit of uh safety a little extra safety i will maybe i'll put another hose clamp here but what i did is i put a um fuel safe heat shrink so i just put it over the over the 6 a.m heat it up so like that it doesn't fray or anything like that it looks a lot cleaner now all i gotta do is just tape this mark it off use the angle grinder to cut to cut the hose works out easiest for me that's how i found found out to work best um i do clean out the line after with a little bit of brake cleaner just to get any material out that might stay might be still in there from cutting just to be on the safe side so a little bit of tip if you guys cut any braided line best thing put a little bit of tape helps it from uh, fraying or anything like that it's pretty much how i do it and uh it's been good so far so let me cut this real quick use a little more of the heat shrink and Let's go. So, let me just cut this real quick. All right, so, you guys, nice clean cut. Really, not too much fray. You could also take a scissor, clean up with a little nylon strings these are the shrink tube that i use i get the biggest size pretty much open it up slide it on like that this tape and take it off a little bit right there and let's see what happens Let me just clean this out real quick. Got some brake cleaner right there. That's pretty much good enough. So a little bit of WD-40. Hopes it go slide in and let's see. Push and twist. And where are we right here? Pretty much almost dead on. said this is a little bit ghetto but it's going to work for me so that's going to be the first one um this i will just throw a little bit of shrink tube and i will actually i'm going to take this shrink tube off i just put a hose clamp on and that should be okay so all right now all right guys so this is pretty much what it's going to look like these so these are actually going to get cut off and the power is going to get sent through this electrical bulkhead right here. Each side is going to be each pump and in the car I'll wire, up, wire it up through um, a set of relays. One relay is going to go back, go on as soon as you click the ignition from the ECU. Second relay, the ECU will kick in depending on what boost settings we decide to run now um i don't have any 3 8 i guess tubing so i might just run a uh, dash six line all the way down here with a little bit of a peak, like kind of a peak clamp coming down here as at the fuel return now the fuel level sensor goes right on here somehow like this got to figure it out I believe it goes I believe it goes this way so we might have to move this over a little bit or i'll just see if this will work if i just put it right on the side maybe i'll make it a little bit of a longer bracket so let me figure that out as 
as far as I can. And yeah, so pretty much this is this setup. Um, it's gonna work for me. Eventually I will upgrade to a aftermarket fuel hanger. Just right now I'm trying to save a little bit of money and get this done. So these are, these two pumps, I believe they're 470 something like this they're over 400 liters per hour um so there's two of them so each pump was about I'll tell you guys right now 129 dollars per pump um so it's not bad 250 260 for both pumps and this setup should be good enough to bring me up to like the 700 800 horsepower range they are e85 safe so the car will be set up for e85 all right guys so i'm done with the hanger so this is what it looks like i got two 470 liters per hour pumps these are these these are ti automotive um ti automotive took over warbro so these are original actual authentic warbro pumps um this is what i did i actually ran Two individual, two individual grounds right here. So each pump. These are nice barrel crimps. I got these off of Jags. Um, if you guys want, I'll uh, put in a link for these barrels. They're really, really nice barrels. I put some shrink tubing on that. Now, my grounds are going to a 10 millimeter bolt that I drilled through, put some uh, connectors on that, and then it just comes off right over here. So. I'll put a ground in the chassis straight onto this um, this stud and it'll ground this entire setup. So the grounding will be really nice. Now, each pump has its own power source, which is coming straight out of here. So one will be constant, the other one will be triggered by the, uh, well, they'll both be triggered by the computer, just one will be constant running and then this one will trigger on with about 15 pounds of boost or so so i got a dash eight that's going to feed straight into the rail comes out two dash sixes coming from the pumps and then i have i got these um these bags over the boots because i can't put this in yet so now on this side i just got the dash six return i just got a wire tied over here um, right between the pumps. I test fitted it all. It does fit. It goes in very snugly. It is a uh, little bit pain in the ass. So once this all ring comes in, this is the all ring that seals the entire hanger to the tank. So once that comes in, I'll be able to throw this in the tank. I'll be able to throw the tank into the car. So. For now, all I can do now is just run my my fuel lines underneath the car. I'm waiting for I'm actually waiting for the um, the straps, the aluminum straps that hold the lines onto the body. Since I'm not running the factory lines anymore, um, I believe I got them from um, what was the company? I believe it was induction or maybe radium. I forget which ones it was that I ordered. I ordered them on Black Friday. I, I found a good deal. They were around 100 bucks. Normally they go around for, I believe, 180, 160 to $180 plus shipping and taxes and stuff like that. So we'll continue off with this uh, whenever the rest of the stuff comes in. I think today what I'm going to do is just start running these lines. I'll uh, we'll zip tie them in for now. And maybe I'll throw the fuel tank in. Uh, I should be able to throw this pump, this hanger in the in the car with the tank in. There is there is a lot of room. There is a lot of room in here for me to be able to throw that uh, that hanger on. But for now, uh, I think that's gonna be it. So, like I said, um, this is gonna be mainly the Supra build for now until my other projects take off. So if you guys like what you see subscribe um comment like and yeah so take care guys